Hey guys, nice to have you back. Now, in the previous video, we had looked at the same question 2a, but in that video, we solved the pair of simultaneous equations by substitution. Now, if you note carefully in this video, as I have promised, we are going to be solving this pair of simultaneous equation again, but now we're going to be using a different method. We're going to be solving by elimination. Okay, now this method, um, and based on the equation that I have here, it's going to be very quick. It's going to be quicker than the last one. Okay, but there is a special situation here, and I'll explain to you as we go along. Now, in equation one, and let me just make note of that, uh, my equation number one, Oops, sorry about that. Equation one, that's my first equation, and then I have my equation number two. Now, if you notice carefully what is happening, guys, in equation one, I have 3x plus 2y is equal to 13. In equation number two, I have x minus 2y is equal to negative one. Now, if you notice the coefficient, meaning that the number before y is the same in both equations, and up top, in equation one, I have a positive two, and down the bottom, I have a negative two. Now, when you have a situation like this, okay, and please, only time you can, the only time you can do this when solving simultaneous equations is when you have a situation where the coefficient on the variable is the same and the signs are different, okay? Um, if, this, if that's not the case, uh, you have to treat it differently, where you would use the coefficient to multiply, uh, for example, the coefficient in equation 2 to multiply equation 1, the coefficient of y, that is, if you want to eliminate y, and the coefficient of y in equation number 1 to multiply equation 2. However, if you're, if you're not clear as to what how to go about that, you could always check out our playlist on simultaneous equations. We have some work examples there, and we're gonna be uploading some more examples to give you, you know, a better feel of as to what is happening. So let's just quickly get into this. Now, since I have explained that the coefficient on my y, my y's are the same and the signs are different, then I can just simply go ahead and say I am sub, I am adding equation two to equation one. Okay. So let's just add that quickly. So if you notice, I have a x here. So x plus three x will give me a four x. Okay, and I have a negative 2y, so a negative 2y plus a positive 2y, 2y minus 2y, that will leave me with a 0, so the y's are gone, and that is equal to 13 minus 1 will leave me with a 12, okay? So I can simply go ahead and solve for x, since 4, four is multiplying x, I must do the opposite of multiplication, which is division, so let's divide through by 4. 4 will cancel 4, therefore my x is equal to 3, okay? And if you remember in the previous video, if you had watched it when solving it by substitution, we got x equal 3. Now, basically what I can do here now, since I have my x value, I can now say then substitute x equal 3, substitute substitute x is equal to 3 into, into equation number one, number two. Let me use two because two is the simplest equation. Always use the simplest equation, guys. Um, as young mathematicians, you should always look the easy way out, okay? So always use the simplest equation. It works fine. Now, my equation two states x minus 2y is equal to negative 1. Now, my x value is 3. I, I, I have gotten 3 there, so I'm just going to remove the x now and, and replace it with 3 minus 2y, and that is equal to negative 1. Now, basically, I can solve for y. If you notice what is happening to my 3 here, I have a positive 3. Now, I need to move all my numbers to the right side of my equation and have the y isolated on the left side. So since 3 is positive, I must do the opposite of positive. 
of addition which is subtraction so I'm going to say my positive 3 and then to move the 3 I'm, I have to minus 3 then I'm saying negative 2y I'm just writing back that down and that is equal to negative 1 now I did something new on this side I actually subtracted 3 over here and it's evident so what I do to that side I must do now do to this side so I have a negative 3 so a positive 3 will cancel out with a negative 3 so I'm left with really minus 2y is equal to negative and we can just we can just add this when the signs are the same you can simply add the numbers and keep the signs so obviously this would be a negative 1 plus 3 will give us a 4 now if you notice I have a negative 2 multiplying my y now so I must do the opposite of multiplication which is division so I'm dividing in both sides by negative 2 so a negative 2 will cancel out with a negative 2 leaving me with a positive y and that is equal to a negative divided by a negative will give me a positive and 2 into 4 2 into itself once and 2 into 4 goes 2 times so my y is equal to 2 so therefore we can now make our statements guys let's make our statements therefore when x is equal to to 3 my y is equal to 2 and that's it that's our answer I told you it would be very quick quicker than the previous list or the, the, le the previous lesson where we solved it by by substitution now I'll show you a little trick just as I did in the last video uh, when given a pair of simultaneous equations we have gotten answers x is equal to 3 y is equal to 2 you must always please check your answers to ensure that you didn't make an error okay and how we do that we can substitute the answers that we had gotten in the original equations now my equation one said that 3x plus 2y okay is equal to 13 and remember what I'm doing now you don't have to show this on the paper in the exam right this is just for your own confidence your own benefit okay to know when you're correct okay my friends now I am saying x is 3 so I'm just going to substitute 3 there and I'm saying that's plus a 2 y is 2 so I have a 2 there and I just substituted the values for x and y that we had gotten and what I'm saying when 3 times x plus 2 times y it, the, the value that I get must be 13 okay so 3 3's will give me a 9 and I am adding to that 2 times 2 will give me a 4 and that is equal to well look at that um, we have or 13 9 plus 4 is equal to 13 so so there we go or it works for equation one please don't get happy now it must work for equation two and I will tell you you must try it for equation two because sometimes what happens what happened to candidates is that it works for one equation and then it doesn't work for a next for the next and I've seen that a lot of times now in equation number two so let's prove it for equation two in equation two we have x x minus 2y and that is equal to negative 1 so let's let's quickly substitute our values for x and y x is 3 so let's just quickly replace my x with 3 minus and my y is 2 so I have a negative 2 multiplying my y which is 2 and that is equal to negative 1 well I have a 3 so let's take that down and I have a negative 2 times positive 2 will give me a negative 4 okay and if you note again look at what we have 3 minus 4 that's equal to negative 1 okay because remember when when adding or subtracting directed numbers and we soon have a playlist up on that okay you look at the face value and the face value meaning that when you look at the number what you're seeing okay the face value of the 3 and when you look at the negative number the face value is a 4 so when you look at the face values the face value of the negative number is larger than the face value of the positive number so the larger face value will this the, your answer will carry that sign okay so since the negative number the face value of the negative number was larger then our answer will be a negative answer okay my friends and that is it hope you found that helpful and useful and feel free to uh, subscribe to our channel where you get the latest updates from our videos or you can even like us on Facebook okay bye bye